the one of the really cool things that I like about Nime is that it comes with a pre-bonded Python environment that pretty much covers all the packages that you possibly need to get started. However, there may also be instances where that's not enough. So today we're going to answer the question how you can build your own Python environment, including additional packages, and make use of them in Nime. Before we get into all the detail, we will look at the requirements that you need to be able to use this. That means that we will go through the Nime extensions that you need to have installed as a prerequisite so that you can use this. But with all that said, let's get started. The first extension that you need is the Nime Python integration. This will allow you to use, amongst others, the Python script node. The next extension that you need is the Nime Conda integration. This will allow you to use the Conda environment propagation node, which you need later to select your own Conda environment. And this node will also allow other users to create the same Conda environment so that they can use your workflows without any effort at all. Go about saying that in order for this to work, everyone needs to have installed Conda or Mini Conda appropriately and configured this in their Nime settings. I cover this in a separate video, which you can find linked above. In order to showcase how you can create your own Conda environment, including additional pack address, we will make the classical game of Snake work in Nime. So for this, I browsed web and found a nice Python implementation that uses the package Pygame. So Pygame natively is not available in the bundled Conda environment that Nime uses, so we will have to install it. I will now just copy this code, grab a Python script node in my workflow. I will then remove the input and the output ports because we don't need them. And after that, I right-click configure and simply paste the entire code in there. When I then run it, you will notice I get an error pretty much immediately. We now take a quick look into the official documentation of the 9 Python integration. Somewhere towards the middle, you will find a list of the packages that come installed with the bundled environment by default. You will notice that Pygam is nowhere to be seen. That's why we now scroll down a little bit further, where we find a line of code in order to create our own Conda environment. Let's copy that line for now, and then hit your Windows key, type CMD, hit enter, and a terminal window will appear. Now go ahead and paste the code that we've copied earlier, and then you just look at the line and you will start deleting the tail end of it, where it references random other packages. That is where we will later on have to specify Pygame. Next, it's time to type a Pygame at the end of it, and then before we hit enter, you use your arrow keys to the left and navigate your cursor all the way up to where it gives a standard Nime Python environment name. You delete it, and replace it with Nime underscore Pygame. Then finally hit enter. The process it follows may take a while. At some stage, you will have to confirm by typing in Y and hitting enter that you want to install the pack address. And then again, after another while, you will be able to type again in the terminal window. That is the indication that the installation has been successful, and at this stage you can close the terminal window. It's now time to return back to your Nime window and search for the Conda environment propagation node. Drag it onto your workflow canvas and then right click configure. Once the node has finished collecting the environments, select the drop down menu and search for Nime underscore Pyga in the environments that we've just created. After that, click OK, wait for a moment, and then right-click and execute the Conda environment propagation node. Once the traffic light is on green, you can connect the variable port to the Python script. 
aus it, the two nodes are connected, you can right click on the Python script node and select configure flow variables. Under the Python 3 underscore command, select from the drop down the conda environment variable. Click OK to confirm. Let's play some snake. Right click and configure on your Python script node and simply hit the run button. A new window should appear where the game of Snake is running. You can navigate using the arrow keys and eat the fruit that spawn, and if you hit the wall, you die and the score is being shown. Of course, there is very little practical point in playing the game of Snake in Nime, but I hope this was useful to illustrate the overall process or how you can install additional packages. With that said, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.